Hi, I'm BJ McTavish and welcome back to another Deep Street tutorial. So this one we're doing question A2 from the 2016 paper, the one with the, the weird graphic here. So the image below shows a bar graph per, uh, presentation on a paper flip chart. The drawing on the right shows a plan and incomplete elevation of a similar bar graph and flip chart. A complete the elevation of the flip chart bar graph and determine the inclination of the hedral angle AB to the horizontal plane. So first things first, let's complete the elevation. So we see here point A is given to you there on the on the x y line. Point B at the top here, there's your diagonal. They're showing you that the horizontal lines here are parallel to x y line, and that the vertical line here is parallel to the edge. So what we have to do is we have to bring our points up. We'll get our heights on the edge here, and so on. So let's we we'll bring across the height to this point here, and I'll set up my adjustable set square to that angle now as well. So you see here, we brought our edge of the of the graph up at the same angle as the edge of the uh, paper itself, because they're parallel. The parallel in plans will be parallel in elevation here. And then bring the height up, or this point here to figure out the height, up till it hits it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the base points of the bar charts, up to this base down here, draw them all up at the angle, because they're all going to be parallel, and then figure out the heights. top one here is parallel to or the same height as the edge here so if I bring that cross parallel I'll get the height of the first one to the right hand side. Basically it's passing diagonal there which corresponds to the plan. So these are the points of that one there. I'll find the middle one and the bottom one here. You see diagonal is passing through it in the top right hand corner here so if we bring that up to the diagonal that's giving you your height. Same thing for the right one. Another way that was diagonal was given was you could bring your height across to the edge here, bring that up to the edge and draw it horizontally across to give you your height. So in this case, they've given you diagonal, give you a lot of information there again with the plan. So let's find that point on this line in elevation. Same thing with that line for this bar chart and that will give you the elevation. Okay, that's part A. Now part B says determine the true inclination of the dihedral angle, uh, or diagonal, sorry, uh, AB to the horizontal plane. So your horizontal plane is your XY line in elevation. There's your diagonal, so that's not a true, you, you can give that angle there as a true inclination, all right? Because you see here, it's not a true length, it's at an angle, okay? So in order for it to be a true angle up here in the elevation, we need to rotate AB around to the parallel to xy line because if it's parallel to xy line in plan it'd be true length in elevation and if it's true length in elevation then that means you can get the true inclination so what i need to do is bring a line out here from b rotate a about point b up to that line now you could do it the other way around you could uh rotate um B down around A if you wanted, but that's going over to the other drone. You could rotate down this way again, there's more room, and bring B across here, but turn the right. And so, if you rotate A around B, this gives you A1, and A1 will be on the horizontal plane. Okay, you're just rotating, you're making it flat. It's still got the same height, and it's just that it's going to be flat down here in the plan, so therefore, it's a true length in elevation. So, we bring A1 up to the elevation. Join that back to B. That's now giving you a true length of the AB line. Notice A1 is still on the horizontal plane like A. So now we can measure this angle that our true length makes to the horizontal plane to figure out the uh, true inclination. So it says determine the true inclination of the diagonal AB to the horizontal. It doesn't say indicate. So um, you won't, I don't think you'll be uh, given marks for putting in the angle. All you have to do is just determine it like this and you could mark in your dihedral angle sign that you do for corner geometry. Okay, but that is giving you your true inclination to the horizontal plane. 
Okay, so that was question A2. Um, hope it looks similar to what you did in the exam yourself. As always, uh, leave a like if this helped, and we'll see you in the next one.